What's up YouTube, it's Steven from Megatech News and today we are back with yet another gimbal. This is a product from Goodson Mazwa, although I really wish they called it the Matza. Then it would make it my favorite gimbal in the world because my favorite hamburger is the a w Matza Burger. That melty mozzarella cheese and those seasoned patties, such a wicked combination. We're gonna be unboxing this guy right here and we'll go over some of the finer points uh, as we take the insides out. Let's uh, get the outer carton off here. And here it is, this is the Goodson Mazwa Air. This is the gimbal that comes in at a fighting price of around $599 and actually comes with the handlebar setup, which is of great value. It saves you money, but also gives you the ability to go from one-handed use to two-handed use for less fatigue. Uh, boasts around a four to eight hour battery life, which is much lower than its competitor, the Jiayun Crane V2. Now the case itself, uh, compared to the Jiayun Crane, it's actually quite a bit larger because you have to carry more things inside. As far as quality of the case, this is much higher quality than the one that Jiayun gives you. In fact, it has this fake looking um, pressure release valve in here, but I still wouldn't throw this thing off of a boat. I'm sure that it could handle a few splashes. Let's open it up for you and show you what's inside. Oh. First thing you get is the instruction manual. It looks like it starts Chinese first, which can be terrifying for some people. The English instructions are actually on the inside as well too. It also asks you to stop, mount and secure your camera, balance the gimbal, charge the battery before you start. Those are good things to do because otherwise the gimbal will not work. Here it is, you've got all the Mazwa Air stuff inside. Again, you get quite a bit more stuff than you do than with the Jiayun Crane for the same price. So let's start popping things out of the box here and let's quickly discuss things as they become relevant. So first of all, we've got the charger right here. This thing looks really, really generic, but it is USB with a short cable that's built right in. It charges the three batteries that this particular gimbal takes, even though there's a fourth port right here. Also inside the box are three batteries. Now these ones here are 2000 milliamp hour batteries. They are much lower in capacity than the ones that come in the Jiayun Crane V2. The Jiayun Crane V2 comes with two batteries that are 3600 milliamp hour, and these are 2000 milliamp hours each, giving you a total of 6000 milliamp hours. Also in the box are control cables. Now, these control cables give you the ability to plug into your Canon, your Sony, and your Panasonic GH series camera right here. This alone is $75 worth of value. Jiayun charges $25 per cable. So also included in the box, which uh, was something that annoyed me a whole lot with the Jiayun Crane V2 was the fact that it did not come with a tripod. Well, guess what? These guys included a tripod in the box and it's actually not that. It's a metal construction and it hooks right onto the bottom of the gimbal itself. And it looks pretty sturdy and it folds right up. This could potentially be another handle, handhold for your uh, for your gimbal so that you can get those crane-like shots. Let's talk about the major thing that this comes, this particular kit comes with and that is the fact that it comes with all of the handles. So inside the box here you get the handle kit that comes in multiple pieces. So this is the center collar which goes onto your, uh, your, your gimbal. So this is the bottom piece of the gimbal right here that I pulled out. So this would actually lock onto the uh, center column here and then these pieces would assemble on top of it. Let's quickly do that. So you've got the two uh, handlebars right here. Just screw right on. And you've got the two handle ends. Like so. You get additional quarter 20 mounts on top of each of these handles and you also get additional quarter 20 mounts on the bottom of them. So what this means is that you can hook on additional accessories like lights, microphones, uh, you can also hook on things like a monitor up here as well too. And this is included in the box but this is an accessory for another $100 with the Jiayun Crane V2. Now we've already pulled that piece out right here, which is the bottom of the handle. This is where these three batteries right here fit in. Boom, boom, and boom, like so. And of course, what that means is that we also 
kind of need a, a, a gimbal, right? And this seems very well built. It does have some finishing issues that I've noticed here because there's glue strands all over the uh, the rubber right here, which I've noticed immediately. Uh, so it looks like someone kind of rushed through, through the assembly process, which kind of scares me a little bit. The other thing that is apparent right here is that it won't be as easy to set up as the Crane V2 because this doesn't have that sliding plate built into it. Of course, you've got the three motors here. You've got one here, one here, and of course the one on the back. Uh, there's also a helpful guide for when you're trying to figure out what the orientation is of the gimbal. So if you're doing a really early shoot in the morning, you haven't had your coffee yet, every little bit helps. And of course the bottom piece goes on to this thing right here. Uh, one thing I will note here after seeing uh, the Jayu uh, Crane V2 and how it's set up is that the number of threads connecting the gimbal itself to the battery, there's actually quite a few less than the uh, Jiayun V2. The Jiayun actually has almost double to triple the amount of threads right here, which gives it a much more solid connection uh, because this also carries uh, quite a bit more weight than the Jiayun Crane V2. Um, this might be a concern for longevity, especially if you have this loose right here and it wiggles around. It's just gonna make that connection more weak. So make sure it's tight when you have this connected. And there we go, it's all connected right here. Now we get to use that tripod as well too. It's such a small thing, but having the tripod in the box really helps out with the user experience. So what else is in the box? Well, let's have a quick look here. The Goodson Mazwa Air actually carries a lot more weight than the Jiyun Crane V2. So having this is good because now you can take advantage of the additional weight that this carries and use larger lenses that you normally couldn't with the Jiyun Crane V2. The Jiayun Crane V2 with the latest firmware will carry up to 1800 grams of uh, weight and the Goodson Mazwa Air over here will carry up to 2500 grams of weight. So that gives you the, the additional capacity to make sure that you can use those longer lenses if you want on this particular setup. And finally, the last thing that's inside the box which was part of a special kit that I purchased is the remote control. Now this remote control is normally like 150 bucks or something like that, and there's a good reason for that. And the reason why is it's because this control is not just a controller itself, it's actually got electronics inside that will allow you to mimic the motion of your gimbal from a remote location. I believe that they say it's up to 50 meters of range. So you could actually control your gimbal using the handlebar setup and you can actually drive where your camera is pointed and everything using this mimic mode. This also gives you your camera start stop, it gives you your, um, your, your speed options, it controls a whole bunch of options that uh, you might not be able to get to on your phone and it comes with the handle uh, mount on here that allows you to hook it up to the handlebar setup right away. This shows really good value and aggressiveness on Goodson Moswa's part to compete against the Jiayun Crane series. So let me just get this all tidied up a little bit and I'm going to try to balance my camera on this gimbal. So first and foremost again one of the biggest difference between this gimbal and uh, the Jiayun Crane V2 is the fact that uh, it doesn't have a sliding plate. So I'm going to mount today my A6300 which is my lightest camera. It's got a small rig cage on here uh, which I will link in the description if you're wondering what kind of setup I have. Uh, I've left everything on here including the HDMI mount and the additional cold shoe which Small Rig makes. Just do a quick weigh in. It weighs in at 1145 grams which is well below the threshold of weight that Goodson Moswa has stated for the air. And of course that also means it's still a good fit for the Jiayun Crane V2 as well. So first step, I'm going to mount the uh, camera onto the, uh, the gimbal right here. I'm going to position it as close to the motor as possible. And just so you're aware, I'm using the innermost hole. Okay, so that's on there. Now just a quick note, this rubberized plate is actually quite thick. So you really do have to tighten this screw quite a bit in order for this to go all the way down. I think what would have been smarter is if uh, Moswa created a plate that had 
less rubber on the bottom here and maybe just a couple strips just to keep it from moving around on the plate, that would be sufficient and it wouldn't affect the fact that you have to really reef on this bolt to get it tight. Because otherwise it's just gonna float and move around and you don't want that when you're trying to balance the camera. Now one other thing that you're gonna need to do is if you have a lens that extends and you're gonna be working with a specific focal length, make sure that you zoom it out to where you want it to be before you balance the gimbal because otherwise any extension in the lens will actually affect your balancing afterwards. Now it's front heavy, it's pulling forward. So I'm going to back this back here a little bit first and get this all balanced first so that it can point straight up. So it looks like it's, it's balanced. Now we can work on the uh, fore and aft. And I have to say right now, it was so much easier to set up with the uh, with that plate that uh, that Jaiyun has with uh, the ability to slide it back and forth. That quick release plate really makes things a lot easier. Uh, this is one of those cases where you could use a, a quick release bracket with a sliding plate back and forth. Uh, I should have uh, thought about doing that initially. Okay, that's pretty close. I think that's as close as we're gonna get today with all this sliding plate. So let's go on and, and get this uh, adjustment going here. That was quick. Now we just have to balance this motor down here, which is probably the easiest one, I believe. And there we go. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's give it a, a try. I'm gonna tap on the on switch. I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna release. And there we go, it's done. And of course, with the tripod in place, I can do this and get those nice crane-like shots, which the crane cannot do out of the box. Now the Moza Air comes with an app that's available for iOS and Android. The Android version is actually in beta right now. It doesn't have anywhere near the amount of features that the uh, iOS version has. So everyone's really looking forward to that. And of course in the app and also the desktop app, they do have a desktop app. Um, I, it doesn't look particularly user friendly, but it does have a few options that you can use to tune the speed of the, the follow, the, um, the torque of the motors, so that it fine tunes the way that you want to make your films. And of course, like the other gimbals out there, except for one, you'll see that it blocks the screen, which isn't so great. So overall, it feels pretty solid. Uh, I was able to get this thing balanced really fast, as you saw there. Uh, it didn't take me that long. I only cut out just a little bit of the uh, of the uh, footage so that you wouldn't get bored. Uh, but it took uh, about the same time as the Jiayin Crane V2 to get it all balanced and everything like that. Quality of movement seems roughly about the same as the Jiayin V2 so far in this kind of uh, atmosphere. Uh, I will have to go run around with it at some point to kind of check it out but so far I'm impressed especially for that price. The only thing that I would probably buy extra just to make sure that I have uh, the, the best possible experience out of the box is to get a, um, a, a plate. So this is about 250 grams here. Uh, this is with a fairly long tripod plate here. This thing was about 15 bucks or something like that. So it's really cheap. Uh, Small Rig does make one that is much, much better. I wasn't able to get that unit in time, but I will leave a link in the description so you can find that one. It is better, it is very light, and it has this feature where the quick release itself, instead of having to uh, wind it up and down to get it to tighten it, it actually uh, looks like a bicycle quick release where it folds this way and out making it a lot more convenient for placement. And you can drop your plate straight in with the camera attached to it. So it's actually a much better plate. There are some things that kind of annoy me, like the fact that this looks like a totally generic uh, thing that they put in the box just to charge these batteries. It's not made specifically for it at all. And uh, four batteries, like this thing uses three batteries, not four, why would you? do that. Uh, the other thing that I noticed was the fact that there was all these glue webs all over the place. Clearly someone was trying to get this thing done as quickly as possible. So the rubber strips behind all of the motors here to cover the wiring, uh, the tripod plate itself was had these webs of glue. The other thing that I didn't like about this so far is the fact that there isn't aren't very many threads on the handle connection to the gimbal itself. That worries me. And finally, Finally, uh, I did address a, a, a solution for 
the non-sliding tripod plate, but again, it, this wasn't the initial issue. The initial issue was the fact that they use rubber that is so thick that you actually have to reef on the set screw down at the bottom here just to get it to sit right. And because the rubber is so thick, it makes it almost impossible for you to slide it back and forth smoothly. <sighs> But I do give Mazda props for such an amazing kit. Uh, and they also thought about uh, usability because there is a uh, quarter 20 mount screw just on the side here. So you can mount a, uh, a monitor or something like that. So there you have it, the Mazda Air by Goodson for $5.99. The remote control was a bonus and these gloves here were a bonus too, as along with this plate. I don't think this is included with the handlebars, with all the cables that you need, with a higher load capacity of 2,500 grams versus 1,800 for the Jiayun Crane. This guy right here. So this is a very tough decision for me. I'm going to end up keeping one of these. I'm just not sure which one. I think that the Jiayun Crane overall is a much more refined product. Having said that though, I kind of like the fact that I have all of the stuff that I need out of the box to get shooting right away with the Goodson Moza. What do you guys think? Definitely leave a comment below and let me know what you're thinking here. Maybe give me some guidance and some thoughts on which one that you would go with and why. And that's it from me. I'm Steven with Megatech News. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you found any of this stuff helpful at all, make sure that you consider purchasing your product using the affiliate links below. Take care guys, we'll see you again.